means am I saying uh, people that main those characters are gimmicks, but like it's on top of that, like T and uh, Raido, they're just amazing players in their own right. I've seen them play other characters. Like even like watching T play like Roy and stuff at um, Summit, yeah. he did an incredible job. Yeah, and I, it's just like you think this guy's just a one trick uh, Pac Man? No, yeah, this guy's a very very solid player. So many characters. Yeah. But so we, we have an interesting match here. We got Aim and uh, Kome versus Zachary and Meister, who uh, said they're going all double game and watch this tournament. Oh man. That's yeah, that sounds t sounds terrible, right? Like for the other team. Uh, so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I don't know. I, if they made this far with it, I think we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see it here. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I'm a super huge fan of Game Watch, so like, I can't wait to watch this double Game you Watch. You know, you're not even convincing at all, right? <laughs> you did not say. I, <laughs> nothing about to throw you, your voice there. You can't say I. You can't say I didn't try, man. <laughs> you can't say I didn't try. I'm trying to I'm trying to not be biased out here, but bro, Game and Watch, man, this character is so irritating to play. And by no means, like, if you play Game and Watch, I'm not trying to come at you. I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying so, to be toxic, I'm but so attacked right now. But <laughs> <laughs> wait, you made Game and Watch? Heck no! What? Got standards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I also am not a fan of fighting game watch, but I love Meister. Yeah, Me yeah. Meister's a great guy. He's and a great guy, and he just pretty much has alone carried this character in the metagame. Yeah, like, yeah. And he's had, like, can you imagine, like, how insane his run has been this whole season being unranked? Yeah. To now yeah. potential, like, top 10 talks the with, glow game, up. with Game and Watch? The glow up was real for Meister this uh, this season. Yeah. And of course, I mean, speaking of PGR season, this is pretty much the closing tournament of the second season of the PGR Global Rankings yeah. for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, um, very excited to see how that pans out, man. Yeah. But yeah, Game and Watch, uh, definitely a character that can be very frustrating to play against. He has the I, I want to say he has the best up B out of shield. So you pretty much can up B out of shield. It's frame three, so very very quick. And you get to convert off of it too. It's a combo starter, yeah. so um, you can use to go into that. It, like up B and an air, up B and up air. It's really, really strong right yes. there. We're seeing it being displayed right now. So you have to be very careful how you pressure Game and Watch's shield. Dude, Zachary just destroyed Kome off stage. Yeah. Zachary's Game and Watch is very good. Um, of course, I, I mean, I want to say Meister is still the best Game and Watch, but I've seen Zachary. Use Game & Watch, because the thing about Zachary is he's not a solo Game & Watch, so he uses Game & Watch, I feel like, in matchups where it's like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? But if he's fighting against, like, some of Game & Watch's bad matchups, he's not going to use Game & Watch. He's a, you know, Zachary's a counterpicker. He has all these different characters he can, you know, have access to, but, bro, Meister, he just, he toughs it out. Yeah. Like Cloud, Lucina, he like, he fights care. them all, bro. All of those bad Game & Watch matchups. But he makes them look like really good, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh yeah. It, it, it's it's very impressive, and that's why I, I'll always reserve the the best game and watch spot for Meister because he he plays all the matchups immaculately, which is really really well. And he also knows how to like mind game his opponents really well. Like you see, this guy will just like up smash and neutral like five times in a row. Yeah, and just not even care. <laughs> yeah, the, the ultimate. <laughs> Okay, of course, but Kome on the Shulk as well. Um, honestly, he did uh, he did outplace Nico, right? At Switchfest, yeah. At Switchfest. So I want to say at the moment he's the best, but maybe Nico has been on the come up as, as of recent. So we both, we, again, we have a situation where Kome and Nico are at the same tournament. So we'll see who plays higher, who does you know better at this tournament. Yeah, and this is one of the biggest stages to prove it too. Really looking forward to see how that single track goes for both of them, but oh my gosh. Good thing he has shield dart, because if any other character getting juggled by both gaming watches, I ha how do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But aim gonna be taken off the top here. And of course, aim on that Joker. Very, very talented player as well, coming from Japan. But man, it's unfortunate. It's like this is kinda kinda like a team. Oh <laughs> man. In case you guys forgot, let me just get this clean nine out of the throw. Every every so often, he can just get a throw at low percent to a, a pretty much guaranteed death. Well, <laughs> it's not guaranteed. It's RNG. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, if it hits, I mean. Yes. You're, you're gone. So uh, definitely not an enjoy not not enjoyable to be on the receiving end of that. Oh yeah. You because got, you, you get grabbed at you get grabbed at 30, and you're just like, as you're getting grabbed at 30, you're like, well, 
and just roll that dice, <laughs> and you see what happens, man. Because, I mean, sometimes you die, sometimes they hit the one and you get a reversal, like, yeah. It's, uh, it's or they just don't go for the nine and they just Joe you for like 40% instead. They can be safe, but if you're a true Game & Watch main, yeah, you gotta go for you go for the You go for the judgment. Uh, yeah, I, I see Meister went for it. I didn't see Zachary go for it at all. Yeah, see, that's that's how you know. That's how you know Meister's the best Game & Watch in the world. He always, he, he he always, always goes has for the it. nine in play. And Even I mean, if it doesn't hit, just putting the fear into your opponent that you're not scared to go for it, I feel is a, a win in itself. And just in case you guys didn't know, Meister, the best game watch in the world, has a track record of being the best game watch in the world. In, uh, in the last iteration of Smash, Super Smash yeah. Brothers for the Wii U, he was the best game and watch in the world for that game as well. So keeping his title in this game going forward. And the character got insanely buffed in this game. So, uh, Which is crazy because a lot of people at the start did not think Game & Watch was as good as uh, Smash 4. Yeah, which yeah. Is just Laughable now, <laughs> right? Like right. How good Meister is doing. Yeah, with how good Meister is doing, and just how the meta game has developed for this character, really. So, of course, Kome on the Shulk, Shulk, and another character that got the ultimate buff. Man, yeah. not the greatest in the uh, previous iteration, but in this game, incredibly, incredibly great character. Yeah, like Nico and Kome were committed to uh, Shulk that wasn't that great, and uh, they were insane players. But oh. now. They have like this potential like top ten character under their belt, combined with both being amazing players. And right now, Ooh. Team uh, Japan slash Mexico here, Meister and Zachary, kind of doing really well against Aim and Kome. And like I said, Japan is really good in doubles, so this is a very impressive showing from Meister and Zachary. Yeah. And I, I don't even know if they can understand each other. <laughs> yeah. I, I, mean, I know Zachary's English isn't like the best. I don't know if it got it got better as of recent. Um, but yeah. Kind of similar to how uh, Como and Leo would always team. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but right now, Kome and Aim with the lead this time in game number two. Uh, Shulk and Joker, definitely two characters are extremely good at doubles. And doubles uh, Joker's meter, fills up even though his teammate gets hit. But it also depletes when his teammate gets hit as well. So you get Arsene faster, but you also lose Arsene faster, which I think is better overall. Especially in a format like doubles where you can just get the pass, where it's just like, okay, let me just get this stock really quick. Yeah. Right. But uh, Kome doing a really good job pulling on to his first stock. Yeah, and I mean, Shulk, I mean, we, we've talked about stock tanks throughout this entire block, right? Yep. So Shulk, definitely a character with that shield art, can have access to do that even better, right? Yep. Just in a sticky situation, Ooh. pop the shield art, but right there, oh not going to give him the time. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, man, another nine. Another nine. That was Zachary this time, too, so now he's not even scared to go for it. Uh-oh. Zachary is getting the power up, dude. <laughs> he saw Meister get that nine. He's like, yo, I got to go for it, too, man. I just think it's hilarious that the only reason Aim isn't dead is that he's at zero and at the other side of the stage. Ooh, and there's the up out of shield there. Um, we've been we've been gassing up Game & Watch this, uh, this whole time, but this character does have weaknesses. Um, this character, if you out, this character does have range, but if you outrange Game & Watch, that's when it becomes a really big issue because Game & Watch's main range is the back air and the nair. So if you can outrange that with some other kind of, you know, sword like Shulk, or, you know, I mean, even like Arsene does have increased range as well. But um, that, and so if you outrange him, and if you have just very powerful moves that outrange him, that's where Game & Watch can suffer, because that's when Game & Watch can't really play out of shield and, you know, really abuse his strengths, right? Yeah, you don't, you don't have to worry about uh, getting up beat out of shield as much if you're just playing at that max distance with like a disjoint. And that's why Cloud is probably Game & Watch's worst matchup. If not his worst matchup, like definitely top three worst matchups. Because Cloud just has the range and has the power. Yeah. Okay, but right now, one stock apiece. Kind of even in terms of percent because, you know, Kome kind of up there in percent. But it, it's, it's the Shulk. So I, it, of anyone you want it to be, it's going to be the Shulk. Yeah. We're trying to recover high here. Goes for the jump bar. He's still getting juggled by all these up airs. Yeah. Both of the happening? Game & Watch is just hyper-focused Kome. Like, they didn't Dude. even care about AIM. He has chased him all over the stage. Yeah, AIM was trying to help out too, but like you just saw the Team Game & Watch just going ham, and now it's a 2v1 situation. This is tough. But they're both at kill percent. Yeah. Oh, he's going to lose our sin now. So yeah. Game & Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. right into it. 
Yeah, yeah. and right there, both both options getting covered. We saw Zachary lurking lurking underneath, man, trying to hit him below. And of course, Mike.